Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to the show and um, today's New Year's Eve and uh, I've literally finished work about an hour or so. I've done a bit of shopping, additional shopping for tonight. We've got a few friends over and I just want to sum up the year as a whole. Um, it's not been a great year, but it's been okay. It's been pretty good. You know, there's been highs and lows with everything in life, guys. You're going to get highs and lows. But, um, you know, we, we, we noticed the Brexit situation did affect business for a little while, but business had come back twice as strong, which is great. Um, you know, the watch industry was slightly affected, like everything, to be honest with you guys, with the Brexit situation, the Chinese economy, with Syria, Donald Trump, all the uncertainty, with Syria, Russia, so many things. The list is endless, to be fair, guys. There's always going to be a slight effect on the economy. But overall, I think that, you know, especially the watch, in, in, watch industry is balancing itself out again. And uh, we notice a massive drop in, in recruitment drive, to be honest with you you with a lot of clients that in the past you know they were recruiting endless amounts of sales associates this year they were pretty much only replacing people that left to be honest with you there wasn't any real growth in the watch industry recruitment sector but you know we didn't see many stores open up there were a few concessions open up which were more trial runs for some of the you know not the high-end luxury more of the middle tier um, watch industry but um you know it's it, overall it's been good guys i've enjoyed the year you know like i said there's been ups and downs health wise my health hasn't been great you know recently with my asthma you know, I was going gym nearly every day. Then I was out of the gym for about two, three months. I put a stone on in weight. I'm 13 stone now. Um, you probably can see it. I look pretty overweight now. Um, so I need to lose at least a stone and a half. That is one of my New Year goals. Watch-wise, um, I, I haven't thought about it, guys. You know, I'm quite happy with my collection. Um, I've got a buyer for my Rolex Daytona Platinum. Um, the problem is, guys, you know, in the UK, I bought that watch as an investment piece. The accountants turned around and said to me that I'm now going to be paying tax on that watch, you know, as a tax ex expense, you know, as having it as a, a luxury, you know, item. You know, in this country, you, you can no longer buy yourself an anniversary watch, you know. Absolutely a joke. I, I, I've bought a couple of other watches on the business watch, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a tax haven watch, to be fair. Did save some money on it, but now it's worth worthwhile me selling it on, to be fair, guys. And uh, I've really got to buy it, literally. Um, my guys, you know, Joshua, Stanley James has sorted me out there, which is great. He's got a great portfolio of clientele. So if you're telling me you're looking to buy a watch and you knows of anybody that's looking for that kind of watch, he can sort it out for you guys. But let's do a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing my Rolex State Just 16014. This is my ultimate business watch that I wear. One of my daily business watches that I wear. You know, it's a great, great watch, guys. I have to say, um, it just brings me luck, guys. I've had it for a couple of years now. I've had loads of Rolex State Just 1601s. One of my first sort of luxury watches was a Rolex State Just 1601, and I flipped them. I flipped them quite a bit. I, I think the reason why I bought them because, in comparison to other Rolexes, you know they're quite good bang per buck Rolexes to be fair. And uh, yeah, and I flipped them, but I've stuck with the uh, Rolex State Just 16014. Um, it, you know, it's a, a little bit newer piece as well, and it's one of those watches where I'm not afraid to wear it. Because it's not, you know, a really expensive timepiece, but it's not a really time, uh, a cheap timepiece, sorry, as well. So I can wear it, I can bash it about, if you could take a bit of a beating, guys, absolutely lovely watch. You could take a beating, guys, these date just, they're absolutely great. And, um, you know, I'm not scared to hit it because, you know, I think the retail value of this watch, you know, I got it for around about two, two and a half grand. They're going for like three, three and a half grand. They've gone up in price. Even the Rolex State Just 16014 has gone up in price. So um, I, Rolex are really, really good at marketing and they're really good at controlling the stock and in, over inflating the prices. They're just the masters at it, to be fair. And um, they are great watches that will hold their value if you can get it at a good price. Yeah, I know people that are paying over the odds. I did pay over the odd on the Daytona, but I had my reasons with end of year accounts. I had to do something. Yeah, but I won't talk too much about that. And I have to sell it on anyway now, um, which is a bit of a joke. You know, um, you can buy watches on a business as an investment, but you're not allowed to wear them, which is <laughs> an absolute joke. Yeah, um, so you ca I can't really 
advertise it on the channel or show it um because if there's you know tax guys out there that you know they say i'm using it you know for publicity or on the channel or whatever and i'm wearing it you know it's an investment piece that you say leaving your safe for the next 10 20 years and hopefully the value will go up so um you know i mean this i'm not sure actually whether i'm going to sell it you know i might just take the hit on it uh pay the tax on it and uh take it from there you know i haven't decided yet um but i'm being all legit i'm not you know i'm not one you know I want to make sure that I don't fall into any traps or anything like that. Uh, I think, you know, you can buy watches within reason. You know, if you're a diver, you can buy a watch in the business or whatever. But the, the tax man's going to question you, your purpose for buying that watch, yeah? Um, do you really need to buy a watch? Could you have gone and bought, uh, you know, a Seconda or Fossil watch for 50 quid? Yeah, that's what they're going to ask you. So, um, yeah, be really careful, guys, when you're doing things like that. Talk to your accountant. Make sure if you're in the industry that you can do something like that. I mean, I might get away with it in the fact that I am planning on opening up like a watch specialist online store. So um, that is another way we can get around it, you know. And that's something that I saw on the cards, guys, to be honest with you. I've got quite a few watch. I've been selling here and there on eBay, you know, through the Watch Collectors Club. But, you know, people in the Watch Collectors Club, you know, they, it's more business orientated. We just share hobbies from cars, guns um and watches so it's like um it's not totally watch orientated it's just like a what they call the so-called director's club that i call it the watch collector's club because we just end up talking about watches all day long guys but look i hope you've had a lovely festive period guys i wish you all the best in the future and i hope 2017 brings you all the joy and happiness you desire guys so this is it for me, guys. My last video of the year. It's the first time I've shot anything in the car. I am going to be doing a few car vids, as you got. I've been mentioning throughout, you know, on the channel about 100 times. So, um, yeah, guys, um, have a lovely 2017. I'll see you early January, guys. I'm, I am going to review all the, all the watches, guys. Just heads up. I'm going to, I am going to review all my watches in my collection. Um, that will t give me about 14, 15 videos for you guys. Um, actually, more, you know, to be fair. I've got so many watches to review. I don't think I've even done a proper review on my um, Rolex Date Just 16014. A few people have been asking me about this, if I've ever reviewed it. I think I did a, a little video on this bad boy. I can't remember. I've done about 55 videos, guys. It's hard to remember all of them. I, I did, actually. No, no, I haven't. Not on this one. It was a 1601, that one, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah. So, what I do, I do a review on this. I'm going to do the Speedy, the Belova, the Patek, um, my Breitling Emergency, the Belova Moonwatch, the Curve, my Ramen Will Tango watch. The list goes on, guys. You know, I've even had a few watches for Christmas. My sister bought me, like, a Seiko Chronograph Solar watch. Pretty cool. You know, pretty, you know, you can't turn down a free watch. And anything free for me is brilliant. And it's a Seiko watch. And I love Seiko. I'm a great big fan of Seiko watches. And I, I don't know what I'm going to add to the collection, guys. I'm going to have a little think tonight, you know, um, what, what I really want and what I'm going to sell. I think I, I'm going to sell a few watches, first of all, uh, before I make any moves in, you know, in the watch world, to be fair. I've got a few on my radar, but I've sort of gone off them now. You know, so I've held the PCs, I've, I've been wearing them, and, you know, not I haven't bought them, but I wore them in the store and stuff, and wasn't that impressed with them, to be fair. But I won't, um, you know, there'll be a few surprises on the channel this year as well. Um, we've got a few people joining us on the channel, so it's going to be a big surprise. Um, it's going to be great. And uh, there'll be a few collaborations as well with a few people as well. And I'm going to improve my studio setup. I'm refurbing my house. So there's loads going on, guys. So see you later, guys. Have a lovely new year. See you in 2017.